Today, I'm going to give you a look inside my church diaper bag. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I bring to church inside my church diaper bag. I'd like to thank Mom Inside for sponsoring today's video. They sent me this awesome new diaper bag and so I filled it up with all of the stuff that I like to bring to church with me to get me through the hour, sometimes less, uh, sometimes more <laughs> with my two children. For those of you guys who are new here, I have a three and a half year old little girl named Aubrey and a five month old named Jack. So he is the one whose stuff fills up this bag mostly, but actually I do have some things in here for my three and a half year old. We do try to go to daily mass as often as possible. I put it in God's hands and say, if you want to see me today with the kids, wake me up in time to get out and, you know, arrive on time to see you. So we do try to go every day if possible. And in order to make it through by myself with a five month old and three and a half year old, I kind of need, you know, some things. So I'm going to share what's inside my diaper bag today. But first I want to talk about the awesome bag that mom inside sent me. So it is waterproof. It is very nice and leather. When it came packaged, it came like in another little bag inside the Amazon box and everything like all the little straps were covered in plastic just to protect the leather and the, you know, like the little gold accents and stuff like that. And it would just, it came packaged very nicely so that it came and arrived in good condition. Now, I really just like overall the look of the backpack and I think that you know, even if you don't have kids and you want just like a backpack with tons of pockets and stuff, a diaper bag is a good way to go. So I'll talk about like the outside of the bag first. They have two side pockets. This one uh, on when you're wearing it on the right hand side, there is a little zipper also that accesses the inside of this pocket. It's not a separate zipper. And I believe most of the time it's implied that this is used for wipes. I have found that the wipes that I buy for some reason are often too big or, you know, accessing them through the zipper is a little bit more difficult just because of the ones that I buy. But I do like how, you know, like if they, if you have wipes that fit or if you want to use it for tissues or whatever, it's an easy way to get to them rather than like taking out the entire package or whatever. And then on the other side, they have a nice big pocket. And actually in this one, I'm storing my extra diapers. They fit a size three diaper pretty nicely. I don't know if, um, you know, any bigger of a size, if this pocket would work nicely for that, but size three is good to go. And for most babies, so you don't reach size three until much later, but my little five month old is wearing like 12 month clothes. So, you know, you, you could probably make it a full year and, and keep some extra diapers in the side pocket if, you know, if your baby isn't as jumbo as mine. And then in the front pocket, they have two like nice insulated um, little pockets in the pocket. And then they have some like a little elastic to hold either spoons or forks if you're feeding the solids by then. Um, I'm using it for pens because Aubrey actually likes to draw like little notes for everyone in church and she runs around and like hands her drawings at the end of mass. So I'm making sure to bring like a pencil and a pen just in case she needs it. And then on the front flap, they also have like a nice little pocket and this actually fits Aubrey's, you know, little purse where we put her donations in here and her like extra stash of papers and just like her little belongings go in here. And so it actually fits really nicely inside the inner flap of this front pocket. Because I am breastfeeding, I don't, you know, fill up these insulated pockets with bottles or formula or anything like that. And I actually don't even pack like a nursing cover because my thing is wearing nursing camis and then wearing a, like a jumbo stretchy shirt that I can just stretch over Jack and feed him. So that is why I don't have a nursing cover even in this backpack, especially when you're going to church, you probably want to like really cover up, but that is just kind of my technique that works for me. But because I don't bring bottles or formula in these insulated packs, I just have like a big thing of hand sanitizer as well as some quiet snacks for Aubrey. In this case, I packed some like dried cranberries and I've been trying not to bring snacks, but honestly, 
with the two by myself at daily mass and with it so early, I don't always get a chance to feed Aubrey before we go to church. And so I don't want her to be complaining that she's hungry. And sometimes it's kind of like a quiet activity that keeps her preoccupied while I maybe have to tend to Jack or whatever. So as much as I'd love to not have to bring snacks or things to entertain her with, I recognize that at my point in life with you know, the kids at the ages that they are, you know, I might have to just give myself some grace and give her some dried cranberries or some quiet little things to munch on that don't have a strong smell and don't make a really loud sound when she's eating them. So, you know, I, so hopefully we'll get to the point where I can not have her snack at church. Uh, but, you know, at daily mass when it's so early, I kind of feel like that's working for me right now and it's the best way to not bother everyone else. So I'm treating this kind of front flap as Aubrey's kind of pocket in our backpack. So moving on to other parts of the bag, I really love this handle. It feels really nice and sturdy and I can easily put my arm through it if I'm also carrying the car seat by myself. If I happen to bring my stroller, uh, whether we go to church or if you know we're going to a church event or something like that, they do have these nice little clips that hook on your bag to your stroller. And I really like that function of the bag rather than having to buy like a separate clip to then attach the handle to the bag and so on. I like that it's really built into this backpack. They have nice like cushion straps. And then they also, if you're using this for like going on a trip or whatever, they have a luggage strap so you can put the handle of your carry-on luggage through this and you don't have to carry this as well because I know that when I'm walking around carrying multiple things, a lot of times it's my back that's hurting and not my arms. So it's nice that you know this, you don't necessarily have to wear it as a backpack. So then on the back of the backpack, you actually have this little zipper here that lets you access the inside main compartment of the backpack. And it has a little zipper. It feels nice and like waterproof. You could store your phone here, something that you know, like maybe you're just gonna tuck away at church if you're using it as a church diaper bag. You don't plan on using your phone. It feels like waterproof, so your phone should be protected from any spills, if anything. And, you know, it's just kind of tucked away, but you can still access it even if there's like a lot of stuff in your diaper bag, you know, in the main compartment. So as I mentioned, I'm using this as my church diaper bag, which means that its main purpose is to get me through mass. This means that when I get to the point where I start feeding Jack solids, I still probably won't put any of his food items in here because again, this is going to be like my designated church bag. I do have another bag that's just kind of like more for going on outings and going out and about, and that will probably include some food items when I start feeding him solids. But in this bag, I really want the things that I bring to be church specific and church special so that you know if it's a book in here or um, you know like a snack or something like that Aubrey really only gets it when she goes to church and same with Jack when he starts to really you know interact a little bit more with the things that I bring and so I try to really separate our church items from our like everyday outing items and so that is why I have like a special designated church bag. This backpack does come with little buttons to open up if you find yourself packing way more than I did. Uh, again, if you're using it for just every outing, you probably will fill this up a little bit more and this little clip or whatever does expand to accommodate that extra space usage. They have a nice zippered pocket up here that again can like fit your phone. The bag has two, two more big insulated pockets, which I think would be perfect for like my Starbucks drinks when I go out, they would fit those, but I have them filled with diapers and a big thing of wipes. And then they do have a pocket for like an iPad or a laptop. In my case, I'm not planning on bringing those to church, but it is a nice little feature in case you're using it as your everyday diaper bag. And in addition to the very large two insulated pockets, there are also two smaller pockets. And the diaper bag does come with a little changing pad that comes with a nice little strap to keep it all folded up. And it's very large. You can use either side, the texture or the material on either side is the same. So you don't have to feel like, you know, you can only use one side or whatever. 
and it folds up nice and compact. So I store this in one of the other pockets and the last thing that I make sure to bring for Jack at least is an extra outfit. Now this is just a hand-me-down outfit from Aubrey. Uh, it's like a little pink flamingo, something that I wouldn't normally have him wear, but in a pinch, if we're out and about at church and he has a blowout, I'd rather him be in something rather than full on, you know, just diaper naked. So that is why I have this packed away. Again, I don't plan on using this, but it's here if I need it. The other feature that I really like about this bag is they have like a nice big strap thing. I don't know what it, exactly what it's called, but it has a little hook on the end where you can attach your keys and it extends from this top part of the bag. So even if they fall to the bottom, you can still pull it out and access your keys and it, they won't get lost somewhere in the bag. If you decide to put your keys in a different pocket, you can use this for something else that maybe falls to the you know bottom, maybe your pacifier if you wanna just have this like next to you. So this is a nice little feature of the bag. So pretty much during mass, the main things I have to worry about regarding Jack, my baby, is feeding him, which I have covered. And again, I don't even use a cover, I use a stretchy shirt, and this is just kind of my go-to outfit every day, probably until he's done breastfeeding. And I also have to worry about maybe changing him. So I have diapers, wipes, like I said, I have the little changing mat that the backpack comes with, and I have a spare outfit in case there's a blowout and I absolutely need to you know, totally change his clothes. Like I mentioned, I stored some extra diapers on this side pocket, and my hope is that by the time I have to get into this pocket, it'll be a reminder to refill my diaper bag so that I never run out of diapers if I'm out and about at church. I don't wanna go and then forget, oh my gosh, I don't have diapers, and you know, really be in a pinch. In the little side pocket that has the zipper, I have a burp cloth in case he spits up if I feed him at mass and he has a little bit of extra milk. And then I also packed just two small like trash bags. And this is in case we have a blowout and I need to bag up the clothes to keep everything else clean in the backpack. Or if there's no place to throw away the diaper, I have bags for that. Now I have one of these attached to Jack's car seat and this was actually Aubrey's when she was a baby, but I figured I would pack this in case she gets jealous of his or you know she wants to use his and I can give this to him. This is actually a rosary that is a teething rosary and uh, the company, I don't know if the company actually, if their name is Choose Life or if this is like a subcategory of the main company, but. Um, the little cross has like little bumps on it and everything is chewable on here and it's just like great to get like on the insides of the baby's mouth so that they can really explore. So anyways, um, you know, sometimes I would wear this around my neck and then hold Jack or when Aubrey was little I'd hold her with this one and she'd be chewing on it and it's just kind of like a nice quiet thing for them to play with and you know feel with and whatever. So this is the main kind of toy that I bring for Jack to explore with. And when he gets a little bit older, I'll see how things change. Maybe I'll make another video, but right now pretty much he just needs to either be held, be fed, be changed, or just chew on something. And so this is like the one toy that I've brought for him. So this pocket is kind of made up of things that, that I don't plan on accessing too often. I don't necessarily you know, want to have to use one of these bags or the birth cloth, but I have them in case I need them. And finally, the very last thing that I have is just a bunch of books that are kind of God themed for Aubrey to look at and for Jack. So this is the one that I really like the most, honestly, for church at least, because it is a fabric book. And so if you drop it, it doesn't make a lot of noise and it is about Noah and Noah's Ark. And so there's a lot of fun little animals to look at. And so this is kind of like the book that I'll be giving Jack most of the time when he starts to explore more or wanna look at other things, because if he throws it, it's not gonna make like a huge noise. And honestly, I think this is probably a good book for Aubrey right now because she's been testing me a lot at church and would probably throw things like all these other books. So I have like an all things bright and beautiful book. Um, it's talking about just everything that God created. 
I have the legend of the three trees. Uh, this is just about like three different trees, their wishes and dreams and how they're actually used for the cross and the manger and the boat that Jesus goes on. I have God Made the Seasons, Heroes of the Bible. I'm pretty sure those were like Dollar Tree purchases. And then I have Our Blessed Mother and Our Friends the Saints. They're kind of like handle books. And there's a lot of other like carry me along board books. But I like the board books because you can't really rip them. And then a sweet lady from church bought Aubrey like a little pack of stickers because Aubrey was walking around handing out her drawings. So I just have these in here in case she wants to draw things and then put the stickers on them. But aside from the stickers, all of these things are like God related and I wanted to make them like special to this bag so that if we want to read any of these, it's always when you go to church, we'll get to see this book and then we can use other books at other points in the day. The last little things that I have in this bag, aside from my wallet, which I will throw in here whenever we go to church, are a nice big rosary from when I was teaching confirmation when I was younger, and like a little rosary bracelet, which Aubrey could look at. And then I have one of these little fans that attaches into your phone. And when your phone is like on or, you know, working, it will actually blow. And <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I run warm just in general. And then if I'm stressing about like kids misbehaving or being too loud, I get extra warm. And sometimes just holding Jack, I get warm. So this is a nice quiet little fan that can maybe cool me off a little bit more if I absolutely need it. So that's why I bring this with me to church, just because I don't want to get super sweaty as I'm freaking out about, you know, if I'm a good enough mom or, you know, like trying to keep my kids quiet in church. I don't like to be stressing about all that, but I try my best not to stress. But at the same time, I still care about, you know, letting people focus at church. So that is why I have this little fan here to kind of cool me off if I get a little too warm inside mass. But those are all the things that I bring to church inside my Mom Inside backpack. Again, I'd like to thank Mom Inside for sponsoring today's video. I love this backpack and I'm so excited to use it at daily mass and at Sunday mass. If you would like to pick up this diaper bag for yourself, I will put the link down below in the description box so that you guys can easily access this backpack. Go ahead and let me know what you guys put inside your church bag, whether it's a diaper bag or not. Let me know if there's any other good books out there or really quiet like activities or things that you like to bring to keep your little ones quiet at church. I would love to have some more ideas and maybe kind of like have a little rotation so that not every day is the same when I bring Aubrey and Jack with me to church. If you guys are new here, I would love to have you guys stick around and subscribe to my channel. I really do cover all things mom and I hope that you guys find something else that you like. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps out my channel. I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.